Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be drawing and learning how to do calligraphy. It's like a special kind of handwriting, I guess. It just makes it look pretty fancy, fancy. And everybody likes fancy. At least they hope they do. So right now, I'm just sketching. And today's drawing is going to be my best friend, Peyton. So, shout out to her. Yay. It's going to be adding nails. Wow. This is not fun. Because I'm holding it with my phone, even though I usually film with my camera. But I didn't have the camera on me. La -da -dum. I honestly think I'm just going to not draw the other eye, or maybe she's, she's winking to all the eyes when you don't want to draw the other eye. God, that face is huge. Maybe, no, sure. I mean, I mean, yeah, sure, but, like, not draw. So maybe just sketch that out. Okay. <laughs> what is that, though? There we go, now it's just not a very pretty long wavy hair. Very long and wavy. She actually dyed it pink over this spring break. Also, I want to give a shout out to my friend Charlotte. She is a very good artist. Now we're just going to go in and line it. Today, sadly, we are not going to color. Because once again, like the camera, I don't have my markers or crayons on me. Plus, crayons were really hard to draw with. But, because we're not coloring, I'm going to teach you guys how to do calligraphy. It's really fun, easy, and after you, uh, like, try multiple times, it gets really good and, and pretty. And you guys will be really proud with it. Okay, so I think I'm going to just finish the drawing there. Like, maybe the end of the line. Now, let's erase this. Oh gosh, this is hard to erase with just one hand. And hey guys, if you want to follow me on TikTok at JustDraw28. I don't know why, you just made my name for me. I didn't even get to pick. Although I probably would have still done JustDraw, but not 28, because I like the number 16. Mm -hmm. And one of these days, we are going to be doing a birthday special one. Yay! We are going to probably be filming on my birthday, but... Actually, maybe not. We'll probably be film the day after my birthday. And then, like, mm -hmm. post a few days later, since, you know, you got to edit that stuff. Okay, this looks really bad. Why did it go so fast? That's fine, whatever. Do do do. Let's just color that in. Oh gosh, I don't like it. It looks scary. Maybe just because it looks like a spider web, and I have a phobia of the spiders. Yeah, yeah. I want to say that's good. Do add the nose. Nose, some cheeks. Oh, that's two big cheeks. Oh well. Eyebrows. Oh god, that was horrible. I feel so bad. That was so bad. Um. Okay, this looks nothing like her. What if I had her glasses? Oh gosh, I just. 
made it worse, but oh well. Maybe if I add one more here and erase it more and better. Go away, eraser savings. Also, for any artists out there that want to try some new art supplies, some beginners and stuff like that, I would recommend Micron. Um, I needed eraser, even though I'm just using the thing on my eraser right now. Um, graphite pencils. No, I'm using a regular one because I ordered one on Amazon, but it's not coming for a few days. Um, but it has to be like, it should be like a mechanical one because those ones are easier to refill. Um, and then I probably get to refill and then maybe, um, colored light is nice. It's like, it's colorful. <laughs> okay. So first I'm going to write her name. Okay. Ten. As you can see, I wrote in cursive. If you don't know how to write in cursive, that's perfectly fine. And you can just write um, in regular. So you see how I went up with this stroke and down with this stroke? Well, since I went down with this stroke, you've got to make it, like, bigger. So, like, this. Okay, up stroke. And then this one was a down stroke. So you make it look professional. So that that's a down stroke. That's an up stroke, and then that's a down stroke. Up, down, up, down, up, and then down. And for if you're wondering, like the lines like this or like dots, you just make bulky because it just makes it look way fancier. And then up, and then down. And then down, up, down. And then for the heart, I went up and down and up and down. I don't know why I made the heart color like bad, but I like it. So then you're just going to make it neater. Because <laughs> if you're anything like me, there's a bunch of random lines out there. That's like... You can write calligraphy anyway, like, I'm not joking, but, like, and if you want to, you can use, like, a brush marker, but as you can see, I'm just using my micron, because then with a brush marker, you can brush harder, and, um, harder, so you get, like, a down stroke, and then lighter for the up stroke. I also like to recommend for new artists to get like a um drawing pad that's like a sketchbook that's that can marker proof and maybe if you want some cheap markers oh hoo hoo's because they have like markers for 50 cents a marker so there you go we're done that's how to do calligraphy and drew my best friend bye Nice.